guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well. So today we are going to talk about what happened when I took my 21 day social media break. I wasn't planning on sharing this video but I just got off of it maybe like a week ago and there was just so many benefits and I started to notice that like as of recently and more so today the benefits that it had on me and I just wanted to share it with you guys so make sure you like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a comment in the comment section down below let me know what happens when you take social media breaks if you've ever taken one before maybe some of the pros and cons and things like that okay guys so I got this idea from another youtuber because usually when I take social media breaks I don't do anything special while I'm taking the break um, but this time I did so I took a 21 day social media break I still posted though I posted on YouTube and I posted on Instagram um, and on my story just to keep abreast of everything you know make sure I was still active um, but I wasn't scrolling, I wasn't checking for anyone, I wasn't doing any of that for 21 days. And so I really just kind of realized that I have a bad habit of picking up the phone and scrolling whenever I'm bored or whenever I'm procrastinating on something. Those are like the two main times that I pick up the phone. So for one, I realized that we have a lot more time than we kind of give ourselves or we think we have. And I would always think like, oh, I don't have that much time. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. But we spend so much time on social media, like more than we even realize. And so when I stopped scrolling and being on social media, I really realized that I have a lot more time to do things that I say that I don't have time to do. Oh, so also I wanna mention that during this 21 day detox, I was, also consuming a lot right so I wasn't just bored sitting around not doing anything I was watching motivational speeches um, I was reading every single day Think and Grow Rich a really great book I was what else watching TED talks and different things like that different things to motivate me and keep me going and keep me busy but in a healthy way so I just want to throw that out there that if you do these breaks I highly recommend that you have something to kind of do or else you're going to be so bored and you're going to easily fall back into that trap. So another thing that I realized when it came to taking this break was that before I took the break, I would sit and I would try and think of YouTube ideas, try and think of creative ideas and content, but I would just easily pick up my phone and start scrolling. Scrolling, 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 not thinking of anything, just kind of procrastinating. During that 21 days, I realized that I couldn't do that. So many times I picked up my phone and I was like, I can't do this, like let me stay focused. So it really helped me to stay focused. It really helped me to think of ideas and to be creative and just to use my time wisely and more productively than I did before. So I think that if you're a person that procrastinates or struggles with focusing or you know doesn't use their time right or whatever the case is, whatever you struggle with, I think that maybe you should try the social media detox because not only that, but I realized actually today that I don't even enjoy scrolling for a long time like how I did before. Before I want to scroll and see everyone's posts, right? But now like I only scroll for like five or ten minutes and I'm just kind of over it. And so that's something that I kind of realized within myself is that I know, I know they say it takes 30 days to break a habit, so if you want to do this for 21 days, if you want to do this for 30 days, or however long you think is right for you, but I really feel like I kind of broke that habit. Like, granted, I still like to scroll sometimes and everything, but it's definitely not as much as it used to be, and that is, that's really good for me because um, I'm starting to realize that with being a creative person myself, you have to create more than you consume, right? So creating more and consuming less. And, and that's really for a number of different reasons, but really so that you can get your ideas out there so that you can produce a lot of content for others because the more content you're consuming and watching, that's time taken out of your day where you could be creating ideas and recording or doing whatever it is that you're doing, right? So, or whatever it is that you would like to do. Other than that, I felt 
overall so much happier and that's probably because like I always say we easily compare ourselves to other people without even realizing that we do it like we could just scroll past something and our subconscious you know something happens in our brain that we don't even realize so yeah I just felt overall more happy there was great time management there was great creativity I learned so much I learned so much from different people speeches books and I just lived in the moment you know and I think that there was so many great benefits so I hope that this encourages you if you're thinking about doing it it's totally worth it trust me there's like a little bit of a fear of missing out that we all probably have and we don't want to miss anything on social media right we don't want to miss any new news we don't want to miss what our friends are doing or what celebrities are doing but trust me everything will be fine if it's so important you'll hear about it some way or another and you know when you get back things are the same after 30 days three months six months things are always going to be the same pretty much so that's really it for this video guys i hope that you enjoyed it i love you as always take care and god bless Bye!